Hello. Today I will be presenting the findings from the 2017 paper titled, It Doesn't Hurt to Ask. Question Asking Increases Liking, published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology by Karen Huang and colleagues at Harvard University. We know that coffee is one of the most popular beverages worldwide, and previous studies have generally linked moderate consumption to lower mortality. But a key question remains. Does when you drink coffee matter? The authors propose a hypothesis based on circadian rhythms. Caffeine is a stimulant. Consuming it late in the day might disrupt our internal body clocks, potentially offsetting its health benefits. Therefore, the objective of this study was to identify specific patterns of coffee drinking timing in the U.S. population and see if they relate differently to mortality risk. This was a large-scale study. The primary analysis included over 40,000 adults from the NANS cohort, spanning 20 years. They used 24-hour dietary recalls to track intake timing. Crucially, they validated their findings using two external cohorts, the Women's and Men's Lifestyle Validation Studies, which used seven-day dietary records, considered the gold standard for diet assessment. They employed a statistical method called two-step cluster analysis to objectively group people based on when they drank coffee. The analysis identified two distinct patterns of coffee drinkers. First, the morning type. These individuals drank coffee almost exclusively between 4 a.m. and noon. They made up about 36% of the population. Second, the all-day type. These individuals spread their consumption throughout the day, morning, afternoon, and evening. They made up about 16% of the population. About half the population were non-coffee drinkers. These patterns were consistent across all datasets. Here is the core finding. When compared to non-drinkers, only the morning type showed a survival benefit. After adjusting for demographics, diet, and sleep, morning-type drinkers had a 16% lower risk of all-cause mortality and a substantial 31% lower risk of cardiovascular mortality. In contrast, the all-day type drinkers showed no statistically significant difference in mortality risk compared to non-drinkers. The benefit disappears if you spread consumption throughout the day. The study also looked at the dose, how much coffee people drank. They found a significant interaction between timing and amount. As you can see in figure 3a, for morning types, the solid line, drinking more coffee was linearly associated with lower mortality. The more they drank in the morning, the lower the risk. However, for all-day types, the dashed line, this relationship was flat. Drinking more coffee did not confer a survival benefit if the timing was spread out. This table breaks down the risk by cups per day. Look at the morning type column. You see significant hazard ratios below 1.0 for those drinking more than one cup a day, reaching a 29% risk reduction for two to three cups. Now look at the all-day type column. None of the hazard ratios are statistically significant. Even heavy coffee drinkers didn't see a benefit if they were all-day types. In conclusion, this study suggests that drinking coffee in the morning is strongly associated with lower mortality, whereas drinking it later in the day is not. Why? The authors suggest two mechanisms. First, circadian rhythm disruption. Late caffeine suppresses melatonin, which can lead to oxidative stress and cardiovascular issues. Second, anti-inflammatory timing. Our body's inflammatory markers naturally peak in the morning. Coffee has anti-inflammatory properties, so consuming it in the morning might be perfectly timed to counteract this peak. Finally, based on these findings, here are two practical tips for your daily life. Please note these are my interpretations of the data. First, front load your caffeine. If you drink coffee for health benefits, 
try to consume it before noon. The morning type window, 4 a.m. to 12 p.m., was the only one linked to longevity. Second, rethink the afternoon pick-me-up. If you are in the habit of having a coffee at 3 p.m. or after dinner, be aware that this pattern was not associated with the same mortality benefits. You might be getting the caffeine, but missing the cardiovascular protection. Thank you for watching.